This program has been brought to you by Animus Mountain Mortgage, Durango's most trusted mortgage lender. You're watching Durango TV News. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. The Durango City Council and La Plata County Commission this month approved the purchase of a 12 and a half acre parcel north of the Durango La Plata County Airport that eventually will be used to expand airport facilities. Cost is $3.9 million and the transaction will be funded entirely by the passengers who use the airport. DRO collects $4.50 for every implained passenger. User fees will not be increased to fund the purchase. One of the biggest challenges we've had is that we're landlocked. Uh, to our west is extreme topography down to the Florida River Valley. To our east is the airfield, runway, and taxiway system. And to our north and south of previously commercial development. So by acquiring this parcel, it allows us to look at expansion of supporting airport facilities, which would include surface vehicle parking, rental car infrastructure, uh, roadway access, and intersection points, so that we can free up area directly around the existing terminal for ultimate expansion. The acquisition will allow the airport to expand the parking lots and terminal to the north, add additional gates and plain parking areas. As plans develop, Vacari said the airport will expand and improve operational facilities, including baggage handling and other behind-the-scenes services. The purchase is the first step to expand the terminal after voters resoundingly defeated a county tax increase to fund a new $85 million airport terminal in 2016. Airport development consultants who worked on the 2016 master plan said the current terminal was built to handle roughly 200,000 passengers a year. It now serves more than 400,000 passengers a year with more flights and bigger airplanes. And it's about to get busier. American and United Airlines both announced late last year that they will add a once a month flight to Chicago this summer and United will add a Houston flight. Houston and Chicago are the fourth and fifth on the list of passenger destinations from the Durango Airport. The flights will be available this summer and will test demand for more frequent service. In the meantime, Vacari said the airport will slowly expand its facilities as passenger-generated revenues will allow. You know, this terminal was built in 1988, it's 30 years old, and it was designed in a different environment. Um, it served us well, continues to do just that, but if we can look at strategic ways to expand and enhance it, um, it allows us to continue to accommodate the bigger aircraft we say to see today and the increased number of passengers we're seeing. To follow plans for expansion, visit the airport webpage at durangogov.org. Thanks for watching this edition of Durango TV News. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.